Can you hear us? Hey everybody, Nicole here. We are live. We've already got a comment. Somebody's even a shout out to Martin. Look at that. That's quick. That's yeah. quick. They were just waiting for you to come up. So yeah. I'm Nicole with Cellbotics Gadget Repair Expo and um, Repairs First Association. But I'll go ahead. Martin and Javi were actually on your channels as well, as well as Cellbotics channels and some other social media platforms. So why don't you go ahead and say hi to your audience. Martin, I'll let you go first since we've got your comment up here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being here. My name is Martin Organista. And uh, I do micro soldering, and uh, we try to explain how micro soldering works. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we're gonna go around and talk about all the great demos. Martin is going to be at the Gadget Repair Expo. Javi, what about you? Your channel is watching. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. You guys got some really great stuff that we're gonna be sharing with you all. Um, if you guys are new and just chiming in, I am Javi Guzman with Mr. Phone Doctor, specializing in refurbishing. Awesome. Okay. So I'm super excited about this call. So excuse me if I'm talking really fast. Let me try to slow down. <laughs> I love training demos. Yes. And I think the Gadget Repair Expo goes above and beyond for the repair industry when it comes to demos. We look for the best. We really want to help the shops. And so this call is going to inform you of just one segment of the expo, which is demos. Yeah, I am so excited. Don't laugh. Yes. At me. Uh, and uh, and so we're going to go around. Everybody's going to introduce themselves first, and then we will talk about each demo in order as it will be at the expo. So let's start with my friend here. Okay, Ahmed. Uh, I'm, uh, I can help you with marketing, CEO and uh, founder of uh, Uplux Social, Unlimited Prepaid Distribution, and I can help you with virtual assistant as well. It sounds like every year I add more company, so... I'm sorry for uh, making it too long, but I'm here for you guys. And I will be speak. I will be speaking the second day for two hours, sales and marketing and upselling, and crushing it. You know what I'm saying? Bring your team. Bring, bring, yes. bring your team. team. Bring your team. I would. I am gonna hammer everybody with this stuff. So mm -hmm. bring them over. Yeah. Yep. Yes. All right. Um, this is uh, Tony Baker. I am the um, co-owner and founder of GSM Warehouse and also a um, co-owner of Selfix retail stores, um, cell phone repair shops. Uh, we've been in business, uh, been in the cell phone industry since 2006, uh, been in uh, the wholesale games for about 10 years now. Uh, I can help you with uh, pre-owned certified devices and uh, uh, help you to operate uh, your retail cell phone repair shop. Awesome, all right, Martin, one more time, just who you are. Yes, my name is Martin, uh, owner of EasyFix. Uh, we do a lot of B2B uh, with cell phone repairs and data recovery, a lot of micro soldering, a lot of uh, water damage devices. Uh, and we also do some refurbishing, but we leave that to Mr. Phone Doctor. Nah, nah. Hey, you guys, you guys are on it, man. You guys are the next ones to be refurbishing. Awesome. Okay. That's I, lo I, I love your videos, uh, Martin. I, I follow oh. you on social media. Thank yeah. you. Martin, thank you. You, you do speak a lot of Spanish in your videos. Do you want to say something in Spanish to your community that might be listening? Sí, claro que sí. Uh, gracias por estar acá conmigo. Vamos a estar en Florida. Ahí vamos a estar con bastantes personas que son excelentes en lo que hace, incluyendo Javier, uh, de Mr. Phone Doctor. A lot of, muchas de las cosas que van a hacer como marketing, como cómo vender, hacer tus segundas ventas, uh, mucho de, 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 de proveedores va a haber ahí. Entonces, si quieren ser parte de esto, bueno, los invito a que vayan allá con, uh, en Orlando. Va a estar del 11 al 12 en Orlando, Entonces, de mayo. Entonces, Martes sí, número sí. uno. Tickets are gratis, is that free? Is that the word, is that the word free? <laughs> no, gratis, gratis ahorita. Andale. Oh, gratis. Es gratis a la hora. Ahora, en este, en este uh, live, ¿cómo se dice? Only live. It ends when the live ends. So. All right. Okay, uh, Javi. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, if you guys don't know me, I'm Javi Guzman with Mr. Phone Doctor, specializing in refurbishing. Uh, looking forward to the Gadget Repair Expo. Uh, we've, I've been attending for the past two shows, had great times, and really looking forward to get out there, network, and meet some more like-minded individuals. So... Any of you guys interested in wanting to expand your store, um, any kind of other repairs, and definitely go out there, guys, and meet everybody. Make sure you talk to everyone and introduce yourself. 
Awesome. Thank you, Javi. All right, Shira. All right, awesome. Uh, my name is Shora. I'm with Girls Fix It. I'm out of the Pennsylvania, Philadelphia area. I've been in the industry for about five years, and I am your Apple Watch specialist, guru, expert. Some people are starting to call me the Apple Watch Queen, so maybe I'm getting a new name, Nicole. I don't know. I love it. Branding. You know, <laughs> I love it. You gotta make yeah. Images. Definitely. This is my second year attending um, the expo, and I highly recommend whether you're a beginner, you're growing your business, that you should definitely come network with people and get a lot of the new info to help you grow your business this year and take it to the next level. Yeah. And Shira also, uh, you know, shameless Cellbotics plug. Yes, plug. She, she is our number two location in Philly. She is. She had her first class this week. It went absolutely amazing. So you can go see her and you can actually work in her store after class, which is really awesome. So if you've never worked in a store, you're actually, remember, Cellbotics specializes is entering people into the industry. That's what we're good at. And so if you've never worked a store, you want to open a store, go to take her class and then you can stay a couple days extra and actually work in the store and see what it's like to be in a yep. store. So, um, OK. All right, Michael. Can you hear me? We can. Your mic sounds good. Oh, okay, good. It works. I wasn't sure. I was pressing buttons. I didn't see things move, and so I wasn't sure. <laughs> so uh, my name is Michael. Uh, I'm with Fix Stop from Orlando, Florida, and uh, I've been in the business for a um, couple of years, maybe like six or seven years, and I've uh, been micro-soldering and soldering just in general for most uh, since like high school or so, and um yeah, and so we we have a course, and we uh, you guys teach the intros, and we try to like take the the shops to the next level. Uh, right. Try to continue. I love it that we all kind of work together in that sense because like yeah. we'll bring people in to the industry with the proper path, and we teach them all about you guys and where they should go from there because they need to get into. You don't just stop. It, you know, you keep growing. You need to learn micro soldering, refurbing, and all yeah. of these different types of things. So it's awesome. All right, yep. Jason. Hi, my name is Jason Arnett. I'm with CPR Cell Phone Repair Palm Coast. I have over 20 years experience in TV repair. I'm going to be hosting a TV repair demo at the Repair Expo. Uh, my goal is to get everyone so comfortable with TV repair, make it easy, demystify it, so you feel completely comfortable bringing it back to your shop, open up a new line of revenue to bring in extra money for your store. Awesome. Um, okay, and I have got to speak for Repairs First Association. So I, I am the CTO of Repairs First Association, which if you own a retail repair store and you are not a member of Repairs First Association, you should be. Um, uh, just check out the founders uh, and what we do, but it's discounts, trainings. I mean, we have white label training platforms, ACO, so much to offer. So definitely check out the RFA if you haven't. Um, all right, so let's get to it. I have the GRE schedule. It is up online. So if you've been following us, schedule is live. You just go to gadgetrepairexpo.com, click schedule, and it's there. So let's talk about demos. The first, first half of the day is speakers, okay, on day one. Uh, they start around, yeah, 8 a.m., and they will lead up into the demo. So the first demo is going to be Javi, and he starts at 12 and goes to one. So Javi, do you want to speak on your demo? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna be focusing on refurbishing. We, we got one hour, is that correct? One full hour? You do, you have a full hour okay. to do your demo. Mm -hmm. So I'm still game planning my demo, but it is gonna be focused strictly on refurbishing. So I'll, I'll more than likely, if, if I break it out properly, I could do an Apple refurbish and then we could do a Samsung refurb as well. Nice. Awesome. Will people be able to come up, talk to you, interact with you, talk to you after? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if anyone out there have questions or they're interested in doing any kind of refurbish, uh, even looking for equipment supplies, you know, I mean, we're, we're basically a one stop shop and you guys will have me there in person. So feel free, uh, you know, don't be shy. Come say hi. And I look forward to meeting everybody that's going to be out there in Orlando. So. Um, mm -hmm. I know you can get intimidated at these big shows with lots of people, but you know, this is when you got to break out of your, your comfort zone and, and just try to talk to everybody out there. Right. And also I want to highlight that you also are an exhibitor. So you have a booth and someone mm -hmm. can just go right up to your booth and just talk Correct. to you. But also if they see your demo, they can just come, you know, wait until you're done and then ask you any questions that they want to. We have, so the way that it works is there's two demo rooms. So when you finish your room, you know, the person next is going to be already in another room doing a demo. 
So they people can just move right over to the next room or if they want to stay and ask you questions in that room, they can. So it's really a great, great setup that we do. Uh, let's see here. Everybody see the ticker in the bottom. So tickets are $99. You can get your ticket at gadgetrepairexpo.com. But if you use GRE free right now while we are live, you can get the ticket free. We shut that code off after the lives. Uh, and so make sure you do that. If you would miss the code for free, you can actually just contact your favorite vendor, any favorite vendor, okay? And your gadgets wholesale, gadget products, Tony, GSM Warehouse, Robotics, and we can give you a 50% off code. Javi's got 50% off code, Martin, everybody. So you can ask anybody for a 50% discount code with the GRE. Um, all right, we've got some comments here. And, and another thing I just wanna to add to everybody, if you're coming to the show, the purpose of you coming to the expo I'm sorry, sure. It's Expo. It's to talk to everybody on this panel and everybody mm -hmm. there. Don't be shy. You're not spending, you know, you're putting investment and time and flying and traveling to meet the pro. All this panel here are pros. They know what they're doing. They're professional. I, I mean, uh, they're high level uh, micro soldering repairs. Ask them any question. Get anything you want out of them while you're there. And, mm -hmm. I mean, you're coming there to get the most out of it. So make sure to come in, walk in and talk to anybody over here, especially Javier. I've seen Javier. I've seen uh, Shura were doing some stuff. The other gentlemen are new but I, to the show, but they have 20 years plus experience mm -hmm. that you should come over to and talk to them in person. Yeah, no, somebody's commenting to Michael. I think I know who it is. Uh, you need to promote the competition. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's definitely going to. Uh, so Michael and Martin are actually judges of the micro soldering championship. If you are a micro solderer, the reward is now a thousand dollars. And I have an announcement. We're also just found out that we are going to be having a MMA octagon instead of a boxing ring. So if Ooh. you're a fan of MMA and you wanted to uh, be inside of an octagon, well, we've actually got one for the show and that's where the competition is gonna be held, inside of the MMA yeah. octagon. So yeah. yes. such a fun experience. Well, we're, we're gonna do some body slams over there. <laughs> Bam. Ahmed was definitely in the boxing ring last year. I was jumping. Doing body slams, and it was a lot of fun. That was fun, yeah. yeah. Uh, so if you want to register to compete uh, to win the title of 2023 Micro Soldering Champion for the GRE, all you need to do is visit the Gadget Repair Expo <laughs> and register. And you could win $1,000 plus a bunch of other things. Okay? I go, so, so, someone said, I'm going to slam Tony. I mess up his hair. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming for you bro <laughs> uh, oh man okay so our next demo is going to be michael so it would be javi and then michael with fixed stop would be doing a micro soldering demo so mike michael you want to talk about your demo a little bit yeah actually do you want me to talk about the uh the kind of the board thing that we're going to be bringing the, yes. the other event do it that your, we're doing? do it yourself so we actually have a, a diy station next to the octagon where you can just come sit down and the you know fix stop team is going to be there helping you micro solder if you've never micro soldered and absolutely uh, so yeah, yeah. So we're, that. yeah we're actually going to be having an open event um pretty much for anybody to join it's going to be this board right here and you're going to be able to like solder it yourself. So there's a couple chips and there's a couple LEDs and mm -hmm. uh, and a connector on this side. And so at the very end, if you've done it all correct, then all you do is just plug it in and all these little lights should light up. So awesome. um, yeah, this is an event open for everybody. These are free to give out. Anybody can come and grab one. And like if you've never soldered in your life, we'll be there to kind of help you a little bit. And if you have soldered before, try it out and, and let us know if you can... Uh, if you can do it the fastest, I don't know. Maybe we'll come up with a prize or something. But uh, <laughs> right, I'm excited. We're be doing that. Because, yeah, you I know. know some people, too. you know, a lot of well, not some, a lot of people come with their team, and uh, you know, owners will come and they've got six or seven of their staff with them. You know, and maybe their staff has always wanted to try soldering but never had a chance yeah. even to sit at a scope. And so we're gonna have scopes, all the proper micro soldering equipment, right? You guys are, and you're, you're Absolutely. sponsoring that whole piece. You're going to have the boards and you're going to have the team members there to actually help if they have questions so they can micro solder that board and then take it home with them. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So that'll be open to everybody. Mm -hmm. And then for the demo, um, 
I haven't like fully nailed it down, but okay. I think one of the things that I hear most in the industry from new students is, oh, you know, I could do this, but I don't have like, I don't have a hacko station or I don't have a quick hot air station or something like that. That's uh, the most common thing. I, I could do it, but I don't have the tools, you know, and everybody else in all other rep screen repairs and everything like that. I hear that so often. Yeah. So I kind of want to disprove that by doing a repair with very very low yeah. budget things almost to the no, point of like no. like i'm thinking maybe like a split board with like a, a iron you oh. know like one of those uh like clothes irons so got it oh man I'm, so I'm, I'm just I trying to disprove it. the idea that that the tool is what makes the tech no it's it's the technique you have to have the right technique and once you get the temps once you know the times and everything like i mean as long as as long as a tool could kind of like get you part ways you can take it the rest I love this. Yes. I think this is a great idea. <laughs> how, how, just curiosity, what is uh, a hot uh, gun uh, cost like? They're not, actually not that expensive. I mm -hmm. think my quick is, I think I bought it used for like a hundred bucks. You can buy one for brand new for like two hundred dollars. But honestly, the one right here, uh, right, is a Sugon, and that one goes for one thirty. And actually, one of my other techs uses that one, and he loves that one, even though it's seventy dollars cheaper. He loves it over my Quick, uh, uh, which is a more reputable brand and stuff. He thinks it works better and hotter and everything. So $130 is honestly not that expensive for a business. No. But yeah. for with people the amount of think, revenue you can bring in. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It, it could be one repair and you got your money back. One absolutely, yeah. But the idea that like, oh, I can't do it because, you know, I don't have... Yeah. No butane torch, though, right? Are we doing a butane oh, torch? Oh, no, 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 no. Or is this... <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. Okay. That's, uh, that's a this little bit. This is social media... Yeah, Just, that's that's a joke. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I'm really actually excited about that because I do feel like that is a barrier for a lot of people. They always talk about the price of equipment. And so also last year, vendors gave away equipment at the show. So there was huge microscopes given away at the show. So there's a lot that this show offers. I mean, I mean, they were giving people were giving iPads away, phones, watches, my own daughter stood in line i don't know how many times and actually won an ipad you know and so uh you guys come i mean some vendors are doing giveaways and things like that as well you might get lucky right yeah um, absolutely so i love it oh gosh i'm so excited for that diy space i'm gonna try it out we'll just have to film nicole see how screwed up she can make that board you know <laughs> <laughs> it'll be a youtube video in its own ahmed we'll and be we, there to help we'll you how bad we can do how about that ahmed I, I, I can cannot do fix. The worst. I can I cannot fix anything. <laughs> um, I, I next after Michael on day one. So day one at the end of the day. Now I want to make sure that you guys understand this show is jam packed. Do not plan to leave early on day two. <laughs> no 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 no. no. Stay. This show you're staying two full days. Absolutely, and and, and uh, I'm I'm getting more pumped now. I see everybody over here. I've you know I'm glad that we had this call. Uh, Shura is going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Michael, uh, I love it. I love exciting. It. Yeah. Uh, next would be on day one is Martin. So Martin, your demo is going to be 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. You want to talk a little bit about your demo? Yes, if you want sure. to do both languages too, I love it because, you know, some people need that, you know? Yeah. Right. Yes, of course. So uh, what, I'm, what I'm planning is uh, do when I start this micro sorting process, the hardest part was to do a reball. So reball meaning, uh, so you take an integrated circuit out of the board, and then you make to replace it back again. You have to make the soldering balls back again into the integrated. Okay. So to me, that was a very difficult process, uh, getting the stencil in place. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna teach or show how a good reball is done without frustrations. What is the uh, flux that you use, the amount of flux, uh, how to clean it, how, how to install it, uh, temperatures, uh, soldering paste, uh, you know, all these little things that sometimes gets very difficult when you're starting out uh, in this process of taking integrated circuits out and installing back again into logic board. Uh, so that's that's one of the things that I'm gonna talk about, and uh, also there's there's starting from iPhone X and up, all these boards are two two boards. So if you 
separate these boards. Now you got to join them back together. Uh, doing this process is, is when you're starting out, it's very, very scary because uh, it is, is ain't easy, but it, it, with practice and with the right knowledge, it became easier. So that's what I'm going to talk about. Um, so where you get a right reball the first time or with practice, uh, make it easier. Clocks, temperatures, uh, soaring pace, uh, and, and, awesome. and all of that. That sounds like that is very, very educating. Somebody somebody said here, oh, reballing and integrated IC sounds exciting. So is that what it is? It's Correct. No, the joke, the joke is that I oh. and IC is integrated. So he's saying integrated, integrated, I see, but it's Way over my head. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Martin, I'm super excited. I think people are going to learn a lot. It sounds like it's something that people need to know to do. I mean, if all of the boards and the iPhones are together and they need to be able to do that, then this sounds like something that they need to learn and they'll be able to talk to you afterwards, ask you questions, all of that. Right. right? And you also yes. are exhibiting so they can come to your booth learn about also, I want to mention, not just learn how to do this, but all of these demo people, except for Jason, uh, provide this as a B2B service. So you can actually talk to them about, hey, you know, hey, Shura, I, I get tons of watches. I watched you, man, you're fabulous. Eh, I think I want to use you as an outsourcer. Is that possible, right? So all of you guys offer these services, right? Mm -hmm. So they can yeah. come and talk to you at your booth about that. Correct. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we want you to bring it in house and do it on your own. But if for some reason you're like, you know what, I just want a really good outsourcer and I want to meet them in person. This is definitely the show to go to for that. <clears throat> um, okay, so let's go to day two, which is jammed packed. You will not leave early on day two. <laughs> Uh, the micro soldering main event is at the end of the day. So on day two, we have an amazing lineup of speakers on day two that you will not want to miss. Again, the schedule is online. It's a PDF. All you need to do is go to gadgetrepairexpo.com, click schedule and download the PDF. So the demo trainings on day two are Shura with her Apple Watch refurb from 12 to 1. Shura, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm definitely excited to meet everybody. Um, a lot of people look at the Apple Watches and, you know, it's extremely complicated, but it's something um, that, that people can learn if you're willing to take the time to do it. So mm -hmm. I kind of want to introduce people to just even the basics of just doing just the screens only. So learning how to look at how to properly open the watch, um, as well as some small repairs of like batteries. Um, as Nicole mentioned, you know, everyone isn't prepared or don't want to really get into it. There's a lot of services to offer. Offer. So I want to even talk to you about outsourcing because mm -hmm. you can possibly make an extra 500 to 2000 a month, maybe just putting it in a box, testing it and shipping it to a company like myself to mm -hmm. fix it and send it back to you. So it's up to you on what, you know, what, what services or what things you want to learn. But I want to just provide some tips for everybody, even how to test your market. So that's going to be one of the biggest oh. tips of how to test your market to see, is it a good market for you to do the Apple watches? Because if the reality is everybody just doesn't have the market for it. Some people, oh. I get about seven to 10 watches a week here in Pennsylvania was well, somewhere maybe in like, I don't know, Oklahoma, Arkansas, maybe they won't get as much, but just want to show you guys different tips and tricks of testing your market even before you maybe take a course or do anything with it. So I look love forward that. to meeting everybody, um, answering any questions you have, showing you some of my secret techniques. Um, you know, and then also I'll be launching my own course for those who want to, you know, learn a deeper level of it. I'll be launching that hopefully by May or June. Awesome. Okay, that's great, Shira. Thank you so much. I'm super excited for you. You're so great with these watches. And if somebody yeah. needs to know how to do a watch, I mean, you're the person to ask. So you want to add anything, Jason, um, Ahmed or Tony? Yeah, to yeah, yeah, no. Silent, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> just, just, well, just one thing I want to say. You mentioned earlier, like, guys come to the show, talk to these people. It is the only show for repair, the only show mm -hmm. in the country. So you miss this one here. There is no other ones to get you're going to go to. Period. That's it. You can this let me go this and I'll go at the end. It's fine with me. Uh, I'll make sure that everybody, all the speakers speak about what they want and then I'll yeah. jump in at the end and kind of give it, give it all in one. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. You know, make, make sure to come to the show. Everybody's watching this. Please come to the show if you want to grow. Because I know my words. Go ahead, Tony. My words will, my words will stick. So I don't want to interrupt anyone. I want them to speak right. what they want and then I'll summarize everything. 
Love it. Okay. And and last but definitely not least, okay, let's make that very clear. Uh, Jason is going to be doing a TV repair demo. Uh, a really, 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 I'm going to tell you, like, something that's really dear to my heart is showing shops that they can do all types of services to have an overall good revenue base. It doesn't have to be one thing. And so we searched far and wide and were able to find someone that seems everybody loves. And I mean, I've just heard such great things about Jason. So I'm super excited and I'm just so glad that we are bringing something a little different that a lot of shops wonder about. So Jason, do you want to give a little bit of information about what you'll be talking about, who you are? Yeah, my name is Jason Arnett. I'm with CPR Cell Phone Repair okay. Palm Coast. Um, I started fixing televisions back in 2002 as a profession, back before flat screens, back before cell phones and schematic level repairs. Um, I basically grew a small in-house repair shop for a string of rent-to-own stores into a full-blown warranty service center doing Samsung, Sony, Vizio, JVC, Mitsubishi. I mean, you name it, every single manufacturer out there, I think besides Panasonic, we had like 20 uh, brands that we were doing under warranty. So we were actually, you know, cash and warranty checks and those sort of things. But uh, my goal is to bring my over 20 years of experience and really just demystify TV repair because it's really a pretty easy uh, thing to troubleshoot and bring into your shop to add another stream of revenue. Um, and, I, and I feel really confident that if you sit through my demo, I'm going to really make it simple. I'm going to explain everything in a way that makes sense. And I'm going to leave everyone with a, a leave behind flowchart document. So when you leave this demo, you should feel super comfortable going back to your shop, sharing with your team what you learned in my class. And as long as you have some space in the back of your shop to bring in some TVs, I see no reason why in month one, you don't bring in an extra 600,000 bucks the first month just by offering TV repair. Um, so the goal is, is I'm just going to demystify it, make it simple, and then do a live demo. I want to take the back of the TV off, show everyone what the boards are, show everyone kind of how the flow of electricity works, where to a couple little places to check for voltages. Nowadays, TV repair is so easy. There's normally only about two or three boards in the back of the TV. So narrowing it down between those couple uh, boards in the panel uh, is going to be a lot easier than people think. So I think if you sit through this class, um, you should leave feeling very comfortable to bring this back and open up another stream of revenue for your repair shop. Wow. That's so awesome. And they'll be able to talk to you. You don't have a course. I mean, you're coming, you're sharing your actual, you know, you're doing this. I mean, this is what you do. So, um, but they'll be able to talk to you, you know, after you're done, you're like I said, you're going to have a handout for them. That's actually going to give them a ton of information. So I'm, I'm super stoked about this. Um, so thank you so much, Jason. We really appreciate you having, you know, coming out to the GRE. So, all right, so I do want to do some summarizing. Tony, I know that you and Jason were talking before we actually went live. So you want to add some here? Everybody loves hearing from you. So I mean, I, I really want to start with Jason, honestly. Um, I think it's it's really great that Jason is bringing his experience and his knowledge and passing it around for free. This guy is not looking for nothing in return. So he's not starting a program to teach you about TVs. He's actually using his own experience that he learned over the past 20 years and just handing it to people on, on, on a gold platter. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I think it's, it's, it's very important to acknowledge and respect him for doing that because that's, that's what this community is, is about. And that's what this industry is about is about passing uh, knowledge from one another. And I think, that really like this is more affiliated of what I actually do is I don't really look for nothing in return. And I think for the past 10 years and what made me stand out is I give back to this community and this industry things that I've learned along the way in my retail stores, in my uh, wholesale business, and even dealing with individuals of this industry, because I think this industry is, 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 is you're dealing with a lot of business owners, a lot of smart people. I mean, if we all weren't smart, we won't deal with electronics. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think that we, we have open-minded, uh, we have open-minded people on this panel and in the cell phone repair industry in general. So I think by him handing you guys, you and know, the gadget repair expo. Knowledge, getting him out here. I mean, gadget repair expo, I think I mean, that's what this show is about. You mm -hmm. know, that's what this show is about. I'm going to say that earlier that this way. show is for the cell phone repair industry. It is not for 
uh, uh, people that are above our pay grade, uh, people are under our pay grade. It's for us. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to see someone who is a, a multi-billionaire sitting, giving us, you know, uh, uh, ways on how to make money because it's going to take a lot to get to their level. Or you're not going to see our customers giving us, you know, lessons on how to make money. It is business owners or cell phone repair shop owners to cell phone repair shop owners and vendors to cell phone repair shop owners. And it's very important to attend a show like this because it's very pure knowledge and it is, it doesn't cost much, you know, and, and we go about, you know, uh, you know, us, Nicole, Ahmed, and, and the people who created this show, we actually spend a lot of time on choosing the right place for the show because we want to make sure that it's worth your money and it is worth your trip. And we actually look at the weather, the time, uh, mm -hmm. uh, every single thing that you guys can think of. We've yeah. discussed it and we've helped and I've helped, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, choosing the perfect timing, the perfect <clears throat> month, the perfect state and the perfect city mm -hmm. to make sure that your $50, your $100, your free ticket that you're about to get during this live show is well worth it to get the knowledge and to get people like Jason on, on a show like this where you guys can learn and add on something. I think, in my opinion, it's not the $500 or the $1,000 that you're adding on at the end of the month. It's telling your customers you can do something different than your competitor. That is where you stand out. I, I think just by you standing out in your city, it makes customers come and see you because everyone says they fix phones, you know? Not everyone says they sell phones. Not everyone says they fix TVs. So you choosing these keywords in your in your marketing and 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 have the customer's attention to that post makes a big difference. Because I'm pretty sure everyone has a TV, has a cell phone. So just by them coming to you knowing that you fix a cell phone, will come to you to fix their TVs and to fix their cell phones from here and on, you know? Yeah, totally. And and Tony, I want to touch on that real quick because I, I think some people may not understand that the Gadget Repair Expo is actually put together by people in the industry. So Jeremy, Brad, Brian with Repairs First Association, you, Ahmed, and myself, yep. we actually organized this and put this together. Yep. If you go to our website and you look at the G, you know, the GRE team, you're going to see all of us there. And so this isn't some foreign body that is yeah. putting the show on. This is not an expo. This company. isn't corporate. This isn't no. corporate controlling us. This is we are figuring this out. Own. Cell phone repair shops have cell phone repair experience, and we are the ones that are getting on these videos. You know, taking time out of our work, out of our life, to give you guys knowledge. And I think. It is very important. And that's why this show, I think, succeeded because it's very pure knowledge. It is not made of, uh, uh, you know, corporate decisions. It's not made of, you know, who wants to cash in or make money. This yeah. is all about knowledge and it's all about, you know, giving back to the community. And, you know, for them giving away free tickets mm -hmm. on a live show like this means a lot because I yeah. think the result and I and I, I I was I'm a big believer of all expos no matter what. I'm gonna be yeah. honest with you. I attend every single one of them, no matter how much it will cost, because mm -hmm. I believe that meeting, you know, it, me and Jason done business in the past. This is the first time we've talked on a Zoom video, you know what I mean? I've met everyone else, sure, Ahmed, Nicole, I think mm -hmm. Martin, Javier. I've met most of these guys in these shows, you know, we've done business in these shows. Javier placed his first order with me after we met in a show. You know what I mean? It's awesome. So, you know, you you, mm -hmm. you meet people and you put your 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 reputation yourself on the line because you care for this industry. And I was telling you called earlier, like our words are the bond. Like we want to make sure everybody is successful. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry to take that long to That's to, okay. You're right, saying something I'm, very meaningful. It's, it's not you know, it stressed me to look at these groups like for the past few weeks mm -hmm. or a few days, I've seen some people giving up and I, I appreciate Dustin, uh, 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 you know, commenting on these things that people are giving up on their business. I, I really want to say something to these guys. Are you posting ads yourself? I guarantee you not. Are you doing cell phone repairs and Samsung repairs? You're probably skipping some specific models because it may cost you a lot to keep inventory. Are you 
uh, doing TV repairs? You know what I mean? Are you advertising TV repairs? Are you uh, 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 carrying accessories in your store? Are you paying a marketing company in your store? Uh, do you open a decent amount of hours? Are you closing Saturday and Sunday? Remember, Saturday and Sunday is some people days off. So if, if I've been taking Sunday off for the past 10 years, so Sunday is my day off. And if I want to go fix my TV, Jason better be open on Sundays for me to take that TV to him and fix it. So <laughs> but you have to understand that if you're the only owner operator, hire somebody for 20 hours a week or 15 hours a week. I'm pretty sure somebody's out there want to work. Just keep your door open. Don't close at 3 p.m. on a Saturday and don't close on a Sunday because you are a business. You can't take your business and treat it like a, a family decision. This is not a family decision. This is a business decision. Yes. So I yes. think it is very important to open decent hours. Yes, I open 9 to 9 every single day. My stores, 14 locations are open 9 to 9 every wow. single day, 12 That's to 5 the... on a Sunday. Now, That's, is it the same wow. person working in these stores? No, absolutely no. not. Yes, yes. It's you're, not but the same you're, people. You're, you, you, yeah, three we, shifts. We open the we open the business for them, not for us. We not for, for us, customers. exactly. And, so and, for uh, people, people that go yes. on uh, 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 Thanksgiving Day and Christmas Day and posting mm -hmm. these groups yeah. that the people that are open on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day that are money hungry, we're not money hungry. We're just business people. Yes, <laughs> I do open on Christmas Day and I do open on Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh man, you're. I will find I will find I will find a person that doesn't celebrate this religion and, and just celebrate. and hire him over yes. And I guarantee you this. I guarantee you this. You'll definitely find someone who celebrates Christmas and Thanksgiving that is willing to work on these days because they have bills to pay. That's true. That's true. We have some comments, some serious I'm, I'm, comments I'm, I'm, coming through yeah, in Spanish. Yeah. I need some help. I need I need your <laughs> Martin, let's let's get in. Martin, they are hitting you Thanks up, late. man. And this is your channel, and I feel Help bad. Out. So Martin, what are what are they asking us? Tell us, fill us in, teach us. I know one thing. It says gra gra gracias, Martin. They're, they're coming in, you know. They, they're <laughs> saying that the, the only thing that they cannot understand is is the language. But, oh. When you get to the show, I'll have my translator. Ah. All right. <laughs> J J Jason, let me ask you, Jason. I'm excited about the TV repair guys because we've never had this before. So this is something new, and it's 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 people want to fix their uh, their TV. Let me ask you a question, uh, Jason. Right? Am I saying the right? Uh, yes. Name, right? Yeah. Okay. What is the percentage? You, you've been doing uh, TV repair for for quite some time, correct? I mean, many. Yeah. Years. Okay. What is your percentage of your business now? TV repair. It's not a big percentage. I don't have it. You, it requires a lot of room and we do a lot of volume with warranty and stuff through the CPR program. I think it's a, I think it's once you get it going, you should be putting an extra, you know, thousand, two thousand dollars a month an additional stream of revenue. And it's mm -hmm. it's easy to do. It doesn't take a lot, a lot of you know training or time to do it. You just kind of need a little bit of extra space in the back of your shop. So, I mean, because people are going to be walking in with 65, 75 inch TVs and it does take space. So, I mean, I'm just want to be honest here that that's, that's the biggest hurdle. If you have space in your shop, then my demo is definitely for you because I can monetize that extra space. If your shop's completely packed, hey, stop by my demo anyways and at least get familiar with it. And maybe when your situation changes and you have more room, then you'll be able to add this extra stream of revenue to the shop. Does it bring you more walk-ins? I, I think that's the proper question. The question is, I, I know, like you said earlier, that it brings $1,000 or $2,000 if you're doing good at it. But does it make you stand out in your in your city? Does it bring you a lot of questions? Have have you got some people who wanted to repair their, their TV and you said, unfortunately, it's the LCD repair uh, after diagnosing and making $80? And then those same exact people have been your customers since that moment moving forward. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, so there's a lot of cross bleed, like you mentioned earlier. So someone comes in to get a television repair, they walk in, they come in, they see my display case full of GSM warehouse phones sitting there. They see a big accessory thing. Oh, you got tempered glass. Oh, I need a car charger. Oh, wow. You fix phones too. I came here to get my TV fixed. Yep. My 12 year old broke their phone. Whenever I come back to pick up the TV, I'm going to bring back their phone 
how long will it take? So, yeah, I mean, like you said, I mean, one hand washes the other. They're absolutely complement one another. And and also, like you said, it sets yourself apart because everybody, you know, let's face it, there's a lot of pop up people coming around doing phones and they can just do phones. But like uh, I forget the lady's name here. She does watches and I sure. do TVs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and once you're able to offer those other services and you have a little literature or something on the wall that says TV repair on your card, it says it, add it to your Google, they're gonna say, oh wow, this person is not just, you know, the six, the 17 year old kid who fixed a couple of his friend's phones, now he's doing his own thing. This yeah. person's actually a legitimate electronic repair technician. They're doing phones, TVs, watches, yeah. and computers. Well, yeah, and all that's the trust stuff. between you and the customers. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think we don't wanna forget that our customers are either doctors, lawyers, they're, they're human beings that have a, 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 a job somewhere else or a degree somewhere else. They're not, you know, they're not stupid people. They're, they're smart people. So I think when they see, you know, that a store fixes TVs and Apple watches and iPads, That's I think automatically good. they will, uh, it will trigger something in them that, you know, this is the place to trust, mm -hmm. you know, like you have a store, you're fixing all these, you know, items and they will feel some kind of trust to bring you their devices. Even if they're looking for devices, but they see that you're fixing TVs and Apple Watches and iPads, they'll it automatically- credibility. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. some credibility. You're yeah. not just the kid fixing phones. Like you can do, like you have, it shows that you've been in the industry for a long time yes. and that you fix electronics in general. And, you know, whether it's drones and everything else in between, like we offer a lot of services in our, in our business. And, and that crawl, you know, that cross business from one thing to another. Someone comes in for, you know, we do with the CPR network, we do like the Zag warranty temper glass. And I, I just looked earlier, I think I had uh, eight door swings today with people coming in to get warranty replacements on a cracked tempered glass. And when they come in, my team, they're trained to try to cap, uh, capture them and get additional sales. Like, yeah. it's, you know, if we're just doing it to replace their temper glass for the $2 we make, we're not making any money. It's more of a pain in the ass. But in the at the end of the day, it's once they walk in the door, you want to let them know that, hey, these are the services I offer and, you know, have yourself some credibility. And then they know where to go, even if they don't have something right then and there. But when at that time comes and little Jimmy drops his phone and it cracks, they're going to go, hey, that place that we went that did my temper glass, they did TVs and they had a nice phone display case and all this yeah. other stuff. That's where they're going to come back. So that's kind of, you know, the strategy. I love it. Yeah. I just want to add on to that, Nicole, before you go. Sorry. Okay. Um, um, I don't have the, comments. So I just want to go ahead. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, guys, what you have to understand is like at the end of the day, most people prefer to go to one person for everything. If they can take all their devices to one person, one location, and they become familiar with you, they trust mm -hmm. you, they like you. I experience that frequently with Apple Watch Repair. People come in and they say, oh, my goodness, I could not find anybody to fix my watch. I will bring you everything. I will tell my friends about you. I will tell my family and coworkers to bring stuff to you because they look at it when you provide these additional services. So even if you don't do the Apple Watch Repair in your shop and you decide to outsource it, it's still a service service you're providing that's separating you from every other local shop who is not doing that and they may just do only iphone so definitely look to add additional additional services but be mindful you may not can do it all in the end i want to say it's okay if you want to outsource some stuff it's okay it's still your customer yeah. it's still your revenue at the end of the still day your too. and you add on you know so mm -hmm. i want to talk about some comments that i did skip because we were on a different topic so this is for the micro solderers here and this may give you an idea of some things to actually do but can you guys address this this is scott's uh question yes mm -hmm. can you guys see uh, that yeah and i can see it um I, I i personally am not doing that i think that martin's uh, demo will be kind of related to that uh being able to just reball the chip learn how to do it well and not overheat whatever you're trying to do it on i mean putting it on the on the display is very difficult just because you might burn the screen so learning the right techniques and everything is super important so i mean martin's demo will be good for that and uh, i don't know if i'll do a reball on mine but okay. uh just learning the basics i think will be good but we won't be i at least i won't be doing that exact uh repair well, we want to, you know, we're going to have some variety in each demo. You know, you guys yep. don't want to be the exact same anyways. You know, right. people want to be able to go to both and learn something different. So, Martin, do you want to touch on this? Yes. So anything from iPhone 11 now on the screens, there is a integrated circuit mm -hmm. that is 
memory you attach to the CPU that once you change the screen, it will message will pop up saying that a unknown part is being installed or not authorized part being installed. Right. So there's a way to, to fix it by taking a integrated circuit from the original screen and put it into the new one mm -hmm. and you won't see that message anymore. Yeah. But now you, you have to have a little bit of uh, skills and, and practice so that way you don't burn the, 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 the the screen. Will, will your reballing kind of help them in that area? Yes, for sure, for sure. Knowing how to reball will will be half of the the job. Mm -hmm. It won't be the whole thing, but it will be half of it. You need to reball and integrate circuit and clean. It. Martin, do you do these uh, repairs? Yes, yes, of course. You've done them. How, how, is it like? Is it profitable? Like I've had people ask me, and honestly, I've never even tried to do something uh, like that. It is. But you like, gotta, do enough people ask for it? I mean, cor correct. Yeah, people. Some some people ask for it. Some people don't care. Most of them, yeah. they don't care. That's uh, usually my my experience with it. So, correct. Uh, but once in a while, we get a person, or when we damage a screen from a client, then uh, we do it. yeah, uh, yeah, and then we break it. So we just gotta swap the, the integrated circuit, and, and and that's it. Yeah, great information. I agree, Sherry. This is an amazing call. Uh, if you don't have your ticket yet, tickets are free right now while we're live. If you miss the free code, contact your favorite vendor or just watch everybody's YouTube channels. Hobbies <coughs> putting his code out there. Martin's putting his code out there. So you guys can get your 50% off code if you miss the free. Now, I do want to address, I think, um, uh, Martin, you had commented something here. Is is this, are you going to be helping them uh, like bilingually at the expo? Is this what this is saying? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> The, the, the last comment? Yeah, your comment that I have on the screen. Oh, no, no. I'm just saying that it's going to be, uh, we're talking about an event that is going to be hosting. Can you, you say time. that in Spanish again? Since, because I know there's some people watching that they need that. Just talk about the expo. Just say, you know, when it is, say it in Spanish just to help them out real quick. So you've got sí, another este, question. Este va a ser un evento que va a estar uh, programado para Orlando, mayo 11 y 12. Es sobre donde va a haber un todos los proveedores que normalmente están aquí en Estados Unidos, va a haber, un, va a haber bastantes personas que van a hacer uh, demos, cómo se hacen reconstrucción de pantallas, cómo se hace microsoldadura, uh, va a estar ahí Jason que va a estar hablando sobre uh, reparación de televisiones, va a estar, uh, van a estar ahí también para reconstrucción de, de Apple Watches, entonces, marketing, uh, mm -hmm. si pueden ir a este evento sería buenísimo, ya que vas a conocer a mucha, mucha gente que se dedica a lo mismo que nosotros, reparar teléfonos, y la mayoría son de, dueños de tiendas. Entonces, si puedes asistir a este evento, uh, ahorita los tickets son gratis, puedes entrar al código que está ahí abajo para obtener un ticket y, y ser parte de esto, ¿no? Yeah. Eh, una cosa más, una cosa más. Eh, yo conozco mucha gente en Miami que, que hacen micro soldadura y no dicen nada y no como que se quedan en su, sus locales y no, no salen de ahí. Si tú vienes el 11 y el 12, puedes ganar mil dólares. Mil dólares solo por hacer un reparo rapidito ahí. Si no, hay una competición, ven, compite, gana el dinero, make money, come, come join the, the competition. Sí, sí. <laughs> I love it. I'm like, yes. And and I just, I, this is great. And I just want to add something. Uh, like Shora, she said, if they know you have everything, you do everything, they'll come to you. Like, I, I just stopped going to one mechanic because he stopped doing uh, servicing tires. I found another guy that does tires, oil, and all these things. I don't want to go to two, three different places when I need something. Same thing. When it comes to phones, you got to sell phones, accessories, repair, computers, cell phones, everything. Just maximize everything, guys. You got to do this. Offer prepaid. Sell sell other services. Whatever it is that service your community, make sure to offer it. I'll, I'll refurb. Make, let me, let me. Refurb is so important with the price of screens. Re refurb. Let me, let me refurb. Bobby, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know you're refurbing a ton of screens. Like, this is... Yeah, I a know lot. Because I talk to a you lot. in April a lot, and... I just yeah. don't know why shops are not doing refurb more. I understand micro soldering is also very uh, needed, but I, I refurb might, is might. like... I don't know. I, I just think a lot of people, they're just a little intimidated getting started. They don't know where. They have to, man. There's yeah. too much stuff out there that they try to... Like, they'll see stuff and they don't know, you know. Like, it's just the education part. They got to learn and understand it. And 
of course, you know, this isn't easy work, you know, I mean, it, it does take some labor and everything. So if you're here just to make easy money and flip screens, then, you know, you can do that. But, you know, if you really want to make some even more money than refurbish, you know, so. I want to ask you something, Javi, because I, you know, when I had my multiple locations prior to really, you know, building the Cellbotics brand, we did refurb back in the day. We could do it by hand. You know, it wasn't as crazy as it is now. Where you, you know, you have mm -hmm. cheap, yeah. And so we, we did sort of an assembly line. You know, mm -hmm. we would have all of these screens, you know, it would be in the evening and I would have a couple people that did really good at those certain steps. And they would, I would have screens shipped in from all my locations and we'd refurb our own screens and we would do an assembly line style. Is it still possible where you don't have to have one person who knows everything you can have? Say yeah. you're an owner and you're like, okay, I want to add refurb, but I don't want to refurb. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, I don't you can have definitely. One person who knows everything. So yeah. can they piece it out? I think they yeah, can. Yeah, definitely. I, I think that that is good for a situation where you have high volume, mm -hmm. you know, because, um, you know, if you're training individuals on just doing one task, you can get them started on it. And you got like, you know, maybe you got 200 screens on the back pipe that you got to load in. So, yeah, assembly line is something that we do here. But all my guys, I teach all my guys how to do everything just because, you know, we are a retail store as well. We still have customers that walk in and want that same day service. So they need to be. Uh, well-rounded and know how to do every aspect of it. So, um, awesome. but when it comes to big bulk volume, yeah, we do assembly line type, you know, just take everything apart, cut the glass, clean it, laminate it and get it out the door. And for those people that are watching that are in the depots, R2 space, you know, uh, there are companies that are watching this right now, especially on LinkedIn, where I do mm -hmm. stream this on my channel on LinkedIn. For micro soldering and refurb, let's start with refurb since we're talking about it. This is something they can implement in those facilities, and you also assist with that too. So if somebody's watching and you have a facility and you're not retail, they can still come out and talk to you about possibly implementing this where yeah. they're processing 50,000 devices a month. I mean, these these facilities exist. People don't may not know about them, but they're real. And so they can add this to their facility too. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's something that we've talked with some people and big corporations you know, that are out there. They, Like you said, they have big volume, and it's better to keep this in-house and we I can see give some of our clients to add refurb to their facilities. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. We appreciate that. And, you know, I mean, it is something. I mean, it's the future of repair. I mean, as you guys know, they're serializing all the Apple parts. Um, you know, there's a big deal, like Jeremy just mentioned right now, about the Samsung, Samsung banning any kind of screen import. So if that does get implemented and, and passes legislature, then, you know, there's not going to be any Samsung screen, guys. You're going to have to refurbish and, you know, keep everything in house because that's that's going to put a damper on everything and what about micro soldering guys if somebody's watching they have a facility they're thinking about coming to the GRA. they're not in retail but they want to learn these types of demos i mean they can also bring this into a, a facility yeah i mean <clears throat> there's a lot of uh there's a couple depots that i work with mm -hmm. and they will do the surface level screen repairs some things like that mm -hmm. and uh and then outsource the rest and like I mean, I don't want to tell them like learn on your own and make your own money because then it'll take it away from me. But, <laughs> but I mean, like there's 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 a lot of work out there. It's mm -hmm. it's. I think a lot of people see many micro solders learning or even the courses and stuff, and they're like, oh, like if if they learn, then like there's too many micro solders out there. But this is all the United States. I mean, like there's so many people. There's so much work. Everybody has an iPhone. There's yeah. so much work out there. Like I believe, I believe make the money from from a personal experience. I believe. Mm -hmm. Here's two uh, reasons why you should outsource either Apple Watches or, or micro soldering or refurbishing. From a personal experience with my own cell phone repair shops, number one is the uh, the refurbisher or the micro solder technician does get paid higher than anyone else. So for you not to pay them $22 an hour or $30 an hour, um, you can outsource it. And I'm pretty sure these guys are pretty competitive prices. Uh, that if you have your technician try to learn how to do micro soldering in your own store, I think you're going to be upside down. Uh, uh, with, with By the time he's finished with the IC or whatever it is that he's doing, you're going to be paying him 60 or $70 an hour uh, for the past three hours that he worked on the repair. So outsource it. That's number one to keep your overhead very low. Now, we all know you're not going to get uh, uh, micro soldering repairs as much as screen repairs. You know, you might get out of 20 repairs you might get one or two so why hire someone that does micro soldering in your store that gets paid higher than anyone else to do your regular repairs when you can outsource it that's one number two 
Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of business owners do not want to have um, a very, very good technician on board or in every single store for two reasons. One is for the overhead, of course. Number two, because that technician that knows how to do everything eventually, and this Zoom call is for cell phone repair shops. So it's okay to say this. We don't want our employee to eventually leave you and open his own store because if you teach him so much or if he knows how to do so much, he's eventually going to have his own business and you're not going to have a good technician that's going to run your business. So it is very important that I think that you should outsource. So keep your employee at a limited of knowledge. Yes, if they have a lot of knowledge, they're going to take a lot of weight off your shoulder, but eventually that guy is not going to be 19 years old, uh, uh, um, you know, working for 15 or $18 an hour. That's a real comment, man. I'm just it's straight I'm up. sugarcoating I'm, it. You, you know me. I'm not sugarcoating it because I've had that too. So leave, leave some limits. Yes, you. I, I think the limits that I'm leaving currently in my stores is uh, knowledge on management. So there is management operational in, in my in my industry so i leave out a lot I, I leave a lot off the table if you teach your employees how to do every single thing they're going to open their own store and i think this probably will touch a 10 or 20 percent of the audience that i'm talking to right now because if you have been in the industry for at least eight years or more you are very scared to come back into the refurbishing business i am guilty i am one of those guys um, I, I, I'm scared to come back and do refurbishing in-house because the era or the years that I've taught my employees how to do refurbishing, every single one of those guys right now owns his own store and competing with me. Um, but luckily for me right now, you know, I, I have such big operation operation that it's very uh, uh, easy to operate without doing in-house refurbishing. Um, that I actually sell my broken glass, good LCDs to someone else that I don't want to get into it. But I think if I own one location or two locations, even three locations, I would be outsourcing refurbishing to one of these guys. Honestly, and this is an honest feedback. You will never get any honest feedback as much as this. So if you are already a big operator, you're doing 10 or plus locations, it probably may be hard to uh, manage your refurbishing unless you have a, 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 a decent, you know, regional manager, you know, if you have a decent structure built in, you can operate it. But um, I think if you own one or two or three locations and you don't want to invest into a micro solder or you don't want to teach anyone else the secret because you're scared that you're in a small city and that guy's going to go across the street and open from uh, uh, across the street from you, I think outsource. It doesn't cost you a thing. If you make money, these guys make money. If you don't make money, they don't make money. So it's very simple. You get that repair. All you have to do, all you have to say is yes, we do accept it. It takes seven business days, and take their money, put your hundred dollars on the side, and pay these guys the seventy-five dollars from the customer's money. Well, it depends on what they're doing, right? And is the turnaround time an average of seven days for micro soldering and reefer? Yep. Depending on shipping, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, I do seven to ten days, yeah. Mm -hmm. And ask the customer, would you like to pay $30 for an overnight shipping? Yep. I would be one of the guys to do that. I cannot be without my phone. I cannot. So imagine how many lawyers, how many mechanic, uh, mechan mechanic shop owners, how many doctors, how many whatever – the person that comes through your door, his job is, and we all know that everyone works on their phones right now. So if you come to me right now personally, and this is an honest opinion, if you, if I break my phone at 12 o'clock at night or a.m. and my technician, and if I own Celtics and I don't know how to repair phones, just so you know, <laughs> I would call my technician and I would pay him $500 to drive to my store to fix my personal phone. And he works for me. So I, this is how much, you know, we have, you know, we're attached to our phones. And this is how much, because it could be one phone call away from making a twenty or $30,000 order with one of my customers. You know, that's how, that's how I look at it. Yeah. So, you know, just 
take advantage of of the the deals that these guys are offering apple watches refurbishing micro soldering you know i i did outsource micro soldering for about five years to a guy that was doing repairs out of his home this guy and i thank him this guy did not have um an an, an operation or a managing um mind like he was a a nerd like he was a technician he was a smart guy that does micro solder repairs out of his own like dustin you know similar to dustin and you know he's not my competition so i was on a daily basis i had a regional manager or a general manager that would go around the stores and pick up repairs and drop off hot micro solder every single day I, at that time i had eight locations every single day i would collect about i don't know like 15 to 20 that each repair was a minimum of $179. And that guy was charging me uh, not even 50 bucks per each repair. And I was, wow. every single day, I would go give him 15 repairs, pick up the previous 15 repairs, pass him around the stores, make about a $1,000 profit every single day from micro soldering. Tony, somebody's calling you out. He would make $500 or, or $700. Yeah, Tony. And Tony, and I think that's the most important thing is just just like if everybody who's watching this shop owners or people who work in the shops, what you want to do is set yourself apart. Like I, I live in Orlando. We work out of Orlando. And this is like you break, I fix hub. And like there were you break, I fixes no more than 15 minutes apart in all of Orlando. And so we had to set ourselves apart. And so what did we do? I learned how to micro solder. And we like we've had shops here in Orlando who have referred them to us either for micro soldering for TV repair or like a bunch of other repairs. And they're like, Oh, uh, who said that? Sure. I think that was like, yeah, you, you come to one. Oh, you can do everything. Okay. Then I'll just bring everything to you. So yeah. you have to set yourself apart. Jorge my lawyer, asked me if I adopted him. No, I actually eventually, <laughs> um, after 14 locations, I ended up, um, finding one person that does micro soldering. Um, and he does everything else. So at that point I said, okay, you know, if I'm spending a thousand dollars a day with that stranger, I brought someone on board and I paid him really, really, really well that for him not to look outside the box, you wow. know, like I, I made him almost like keep, a store keep him in the box. Keep it in the box. And, and lock him in the box. Lock him in the brand. Right. I mean, I so, paid him good, so I think it's worth it for me and him. And yeah, so we are, we are, we are over our hour, and I know I have to respect everyone's time. Uh, so because uh, it is late, right? So, okay, come to the expo. George has adopted me. I'll work, George. <laughs> okay. Um, if, if you don't have your ticket, go get your ticket now. Why are you not going? I don't understand. You can take your family. You can write this off as a business expense. This is, or just come yourself. Bring your team members. This is an event you don't want to miss if you are in the repair space or want to be in the repair space. If you're not in the repair space, like if you're watching on the Cellbotics channel and you're trying to get into the industry, this is the place to go to meet all of the people. And all. Can the I add something to that? For the people that are not in the industry, um, there. if you are a Boost Mobile dealer, um, there is a summit, uh, which is an expo for Boost Mobile a day before our show. So if you want to get into the cell phone repair industry, and I'm pretty sure a lot of these dealers are struggling with a lot of uh, 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 these these companies. So you can go to your summit on the 10th and you can feel free to join us on the Gadget Repair Expo on the 11th and 12th mm -hmm. and see what you can what you can add on to your business as a Boost Mobile dealer. So there will be like, I think, 2,000 dealers attending the boost mobile uh, uh expo wow. a day prior to ours so if you are a boost mobile dealer the boost mobile summit is in orlando one say, day yeah. before wow. uh, the gadget wow. repair expo so if it's you're incredible. traveling there make sure you visit the gadget repair expo and see jo what you can add on johnny i got invited to the boost rally i said hell no i'm coming to the gadget repair expo. <laughs> i got my first ticket so i'm attending I, both i said that i swear He's to god going both. you go to both yeah. I'm not you going there. Tony, I'm not go gonna, there and bring the people with you. I, That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I have a lot of friends there and I've got a free ticket, so I can't say no. I need to oh, go. Man. We can just so. bomb the show. Let's go. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm I got to do something right now. Now you, you put an idea in my head. I want to go. I'm going just... to walk around with the sign that says, come to the Gadget <laughs> Effects. I swear to God. I, I think when you go to the <laughs> you realize what we have on our, uh, on our hand. 
the repair industry is very profitable. It is no, 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 there's, there's the, uh, sky's a, sky's a limit. So we can do whatever we want because we own our own business and we can repair whatever we want and we can add on whatever we want. So I think you can own or add prepaid services to your store to make more money. Oh, but we're going to be talking about that. There's going to be speakers else. talking yeah. about that too. So don't miss this show. Thank you everybody for being on. If you're watching, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a great call and I can't wait to see everybody in a couple of weeks at the expo. All right. Good night. Good night. See you, everyone. See you. Later. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.